Okay. Is this actually going to start this time? Like, what is going on? Oh, it worked this time. It just didn't last time. That was weird. It just decided not to stream. And this time it is streaming. I, di I changed nothing. <laughs> I repasted it in the same stream key. I don't know why it's working now. Well, here I am, anyway, I guess. It's fucking weird. Never had that happen before. But it looks like I'm live. Let me make sure the screen actually updates. There you go. Well, that's why you start early, I suppose. I don't think anybody's here yet, so I won't explain this game yet. But it's basically Zelda, but you sell the shit you pick up sometimes. Oh, and the dungeons are random. And it's only dungeons. So that makes it sound like a worse Zelda, which it kind of is. I get enough people in here I'll do the fun mini game of trying to describe what happened in the last chapter of Killer 7 <sighs> while not dying in this game which is going to fail like it did last time also there's like a really good chance this game will crash it's crashing for me a lot it's starting to get to the point where maybe I just won't play it for a while until they fix some shit to the glove styles. It makes them dizzy sometimes. That makes sense. Yikes. Please don't hit me. Oh, hey, I didn't. So yeah, this is uh, Moonlighter. It is a neat little game. Um, the fighting's really simple but responsive. And the shopkeeping gameplay is really simple but still kind of enjoyable. I'm wondering if it'll introduce more, like, you know, hitches or something. If it doesn't, I might not enjoy it enough to finish it, but right now it's still really fun. But the basic premise is there are four, well there's five dungeons. You have to do them in order, and each dungeon is three floors. And you gather shit from the dungeons to get more powerful, to get further into each dungeon. Um, and then once you're at, in the third floor there's a boss, and you beat the boss and you get a key to the next dungeon. But you'll still probably want to occasionally revisit the previous dungeons for shit. Why this? Oh, it's a mimic. Figured that out the last second. That's a good item to draw. Hey, no damage. Sorry, you're not dead? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try and describe... As a lead up to the start, I'm going to try and describe what happened last time on Killer7 while well playing. So, the Smiths? Is it correct to say the Smiths? Or do I just say Garcia and Smith? Because they're one. Anyways, they're hanging at their apartment and they watch TV 
and a man appears on the TV called Andre Almeida. And he, uh, talks about how he doesn't like society and I think doesn't like assassins and shit. And he might have referenced- I don't remember what- Uh oh. Is this a crash? Oh no, don't crash. Sometimes it does that, and if it does that, it has a decent chance of crashing. Um... Think about this one. Let's dump this and this. Okay. Uh, so Almeida, I don't remember what he's not happy about, but he's not happy about society, and he calls the Smiths out. Um, good. Next level. Uh, and he calls them out by also blowing up a stadium f that's throwing a Stacy concert. And, um, so then Garcia and Smith meets with his contract. Hen Henry Mills? That's not his name. Someone Mills. Um, and he, uh, Henry Mills doesn't actually have a mission for him, he's just like, hey, what the hell was that about? They called you out by name. And Garcian is like, yeah, uh, they did. It's weird, right? Anyway, um, we should probably go fight them, I guess. And he's like, but where could he be? And then Garcian's like, he was wearing a shirt that said Texas Bronco. And no one outside of Texas would wear a shirt. Because <laughs> Andre Almeida's wearing a shirt that says Texas Bronco on it. And so Mills is like, but where could he be? And Garcian's like, well, he was wearing a shirt called Texas Bronco. And that means he's in Texas. Because no one... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just... It's so perfect. Um, so he makes a brain genius move, universe brain move, to decide to go to Texas. Uh, to find this guy and he goes to Texas and the guy has a whole town and he's basically taken over this local town um, And uh, And he's so he's taken over this whole town that was previously sort of a small town Let's see what is the price on this price 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 I'm setting my prices before I open the shop um And so this, this whole town has been taken over by Almeida, who is running this huge Almeida Corporation. And he used to just be, like, a work in the mail room there. So it's kind of amazing that he's moved up so significantly, and people don't really know how he done it, but he just sort of has this weird mix of, like, positive vibes and you can do itness um, that gets him ahead. So you fight through the city, and you find out you have to find a whole bunch of action figures of Almeida to open the front door to Almeida's place. Um, and you get inside. Oh, and there's a bunch of Heaven Smiles who he seems to be commanding, including a bunch that are just, like, fans of his? Because they're wearing his Texas Bronco shirt? That man's gonna try and steal from me. Um, and so... He, uh... You finally make it, so you, you get to his place and you have to answer a whole bunch of trivia questions about him in order to get in. Um, but he did promise that he would meet with anyone who collect all the figurines, so... Oh, that's too expensive, I've been wondering. These are boss fragments, so I don't know what they're worth. I'm just charging crazy amounts. Um, so you get there... And you get inside and you meet him, and he says, We don't actually sell anything at all at this corporation. Um, it's just all marketing. We just have really good advertisements. Um, and you find out that he has this sort of fanatical workforce. Um, and he gives one of them a car. One of them is like the special lottery winner for that day, and he gets a really fancy car with a billion jets on it. And he gets in the car, and Andre says that he's allowed to drive the car to the finish line, and if he makes it without dying, that's called the Drive Yourself to Death challenge or something. And if you make it without dying, then you get to keep the car, 
and you get like a bunch of money. Sorry, Jimmy, but only one francs. This is my time now. I'm gonna stream every Friday at 10. So you, you better get out of the way. And that's everything I have to sell. Hi, Halsey. I don't see Halsey in the chat, but hi, Halsey. I'll take your word for it that they're in the uh, thing there. So... So you talk to him. So yeah, so he sends the guy off. Get out of here. Um, and but then the um, the U.S. government drops in and sort of ambushes Andre. Oh, first Andre says, "Okay, if I ever turn into a heaven smile, you have to kill me." Um, just so you know, like you need to do it. That's why he that's why he called us here because he's worried about turning into a heaven smile, and he knew that the Smiths. He heard that the Smiths are the only ones who can kill the Heaven Smile. So, he wants them to be there because he's pretty sure he's going to turn into one. Probably because the government's going to make him. So anyways, then the government parachutes him and is like, we'll take it from here and like inject him with something which may be a Heaven Smile thing or it may be like a sedative, but it doesn't matter because he explodes either way um, and turns into like a huge Heaven Smile. And you have to fight him in a crazy maze. His afro separates from his body and you have to fight him in a crazy ambulance maze. Ah, oh, fuck. Come on. Um, and, but you only need to shoot him in the afro once by sneaking around behind him, which I did really quickly the second time, actually. Uh, wait. What? Oh, becomes this item, my bad. There we go. Items in this game have a bunch of special properties, so I'm just setting stuff up. So... Anyways, you fight him and you shoot him, and... Then, like, he dies, and I think he says some shit that I've forgotten. Shit. I thought this chapter would be easy to recap, but I've already forgotten shit. Um... Oh, that's right! So he dies and explodes as a heaven smile. Um, and then the guy makes it to the finish line who was in the car. Um, and he's like, I did it! Oh, and then, like, it's raining blood everywhere. It's raining Almeida's blood. And the guy's like, wait a minute, this blood! It tastes like Almeida! <laughs> He knows that, but he does. Um, and then Almeida appears as a ghostly vision and is like, Hey, um, like, you've got to carry on now for me and, like, never give up. And he said some other really great shit that I'm underselling. Uh, and he's like, I'll do my best. And then the ghostly vision of Almeida disappears. And, um, then that's... And the general thanks you for your help, I think. And that that's the end of that chapter. It just ends. Oh, I forgot to mention that the entire corporation was actually a cardboard cutout. Like, just one of those stands from the movies or something. Very good. Hey, Shell. Yeah, I'm gonna fight this boss and either beat it or not, and then start the game. Wait. Do I not get to fight the boss twice? Maybe I don't. Do I only fight a boss once? Hmm. Okay. Then I just use the portal to leave, then, I guess. That's a little bit of a disappointment. I'd already beat this boss once, but I assume since it's a roguelike, I would fight him again. Okay. Whatever. I'll warp out and save. <laughs> oh, there's Halsey. I see you in the chat now. Okay, so I am going to quit to desktop, go to the bathroom real quick, and I'll be back with Killer7.
And I'm back. You can't see other people chat on Kindle. Huh. Well, no one has said anything since you joined. So that could be it. Is, is Chai here yet? I wouldn't really want to start without Chai. It would be a bummer to start without her, but... What? Well... It's Killer7 Disk 1. Let me set it to actually be streaming. I'm pretty sure it's not. I don't even remember what the chapter we're doing now is at all. A discult encounter, I remember that much. Well, let's look at the dates. February, oh, so there's a huge time between Sunset and Cloud Man. There's a decent amount of time between here and Encounter, because this is, I don't know if you can see on the stream, Cladman takes place April 3rd, 2011, by the way, if we were wondering about the dates. Sunset was February 2010, Cladman was uh, April 2011th, and this one's August 2011th. And it's also not nearly loud enough, let's bump that volume up a little bit. Um... Okay. Wow, this reminds me very heavily of a level in uh, No More Heroes 2, actually. I wonder if that's intentional, or if it's just that generic lobbies look similar. So this dude's not actually walking, he's like gliding? Wow, what an outfit. Holy shit. Does he have a white mustache? Excellent. Hello, Mr. Smith. The election is drawing near. Have you decided on your vote? If you haven't, please let 
He was just about to enjoy his breakfast a hot dog with like full relish on it. Everybody loves everybody loves coffee and hot dog. It's the traditional American meal of coffee and hot dog. Eat. Here. Come on! It's really good. Open your mouth. Ah. Uh, eat, oh. damn it! Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Don't just stand there. Get this old fart to eat, will you? Are you gonna finish your meal or what? I don't have time for this shit. You know I'm busy with my classes. Ugh. And the lights. Oh wait, that's right, you have to select it from the TV, I forget every time. Ah, oh, Garcian. How long has it been? The Master is awake. The Surge. It's Curtis. Curtis? The one who killed Dan years ago. It's as if fate has woke him up. He'll soon make his move. Shall I take care of him? Curtis? No. It's all right. He's just a punk with a gun. Dan's more than he can handle. As you wish. Samantha, the lights. Yes, Master. So now we have a name to go with that outfit. Curtis. Jeez, will someone wax the damn floor? And uh, additionally, it turns out that Curtis killed Dan. Dan Smith, the dude who... Which is weird, because like, we play as Dan. He's one of the characters we play as, so it's weird that he was killed. A little bit weird. <laughs> Off to meet Mills, presumably. For the mission. He's been laying low in the public agency for 15 years. So he's working for the government. Rumor has it that he's involved with some kind of organ deals. Organs to be used as raw material for the creation of the Smileys. So he's after children. <laughs> That's as foul as you're gonna get. Hurry! Children are disappearing at the fairgrounds. Blood of innocent children is unnecessary. Wow, that's deep, man. So Curtis is killing children to harvest their organs to make heaven smiles? Which I guess is the first time we find out anything about heaven smiles at all. <laughs> like... I guess. I don't remember that at all, so I'm going to assume it's never expanded upon at any point. There's a little spider corner on my desk. Buddy, this ain't the place for you. So, I'm pretty sure this level is Dan's focus, considering we're going after someone who killed Dan, but I don't know. I took the spider and I moved it. I should have... I grabbed his thread and I flung him away. He's fine to stay. He kills the bugs. 
I just don't want them on my computer. I think this is the first time the game forces you to pick Khan at all. He's not a great character, ultimately. His main thing is just that he runs fast, so he's good for backtracking. Hey, do you want to go to the amusement park linked to the the organ trafficking place, or maybe just go to a different amusement park? No, let's go to the one about the organ traffickers. It's a good one. Hmm. <laughs> Why are there so many horse noises? Okay, I thought something was gonna happen when that countdown finished. He's behind me, isn't he? Yep. Yeah. Uh... I might have to go look up how to beat this dude, because I don't... know. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go back and look it up, because I have no idea how to fight this man. Got that much. Oh. Oh, so it switches me to play Consmith. But the only person who can beat the enemy it puts me up against is Mask Day Smith. Got it. <laughs> this fucking game. Okay, so Protector Z, I need to use the super shells. Or I need to use electric shells? Okay, yeah, that is his charge. As long as I'm here, let me look up the third new enemy for this stage, because I can see it listed. It's burdened by a complex... Is that... Oops. Okay. I thought I accidentally selected that again. Is that like a gameplay element? I don't... I guess it could be. It seems like I should probably just shoot whatever that thing it was talking about in the <laughs> cockpit.
<laughs> yeah, Mask needs Smiley's only he can defeat, because otherwise he's just... A little lackluster? Is this a thing? What is this thing spewing popcorn everywhere? Is it, like, a thing? <laughs> Because it takes him so long just to kill a normal dude. Let me just make sure. This isn't something stupid like shoot the balloons. Well, I guess that's just a big glowy thing that means nothing. I don't really need to go in this yet, do I? Oh, I'll just do it for the checkpoint, I guess. I think you actually have to go in the rooms for them to register as checkpoints. No, mass dismiss, I get it. That's probably not, like, I, you didn't need to actually say that. I'm sure I could figure it out. That's not the direction I was walking in, actually. Oh yeah, this is a special power. You can hit Y and you run even more faster. The most fastest. Oh, there was a thing next to me. Womp. You're fucked. Wow, this is a very expansive level so far. <laughs> You're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. That also looks like a thing for mask only. He is fucked. It's true. <laughs> what? Did I get new clothes? <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, that's a lot better. That is quite an upgrade, Jesus. 
So yeah, if you can't tell, my reload just got cut in, like, a fifth. Which is ridiculous. <laughs> but, I still can't fight that man. But I can fight this man. That was close. Wait. I can't hit them from here. <laughs> oh. That ghost means that the soul bullet is this way, right? I don't remember. Oh shit. Wrong button entirely. Is that what getting new clothes is like? I've never done it. The Hellion is Dan, by the way. That's his nickname. Oh, these guys! Reminder that Japan was destroyed by missiles. Missiles from a mysterious place that we don't know. Yeah, he's he is not he did not feel any remorse. <laughs> There's not someone behind me, is there? Like coming at me? Yep. There sure is. Wait, yep, that's why. <laughs> oh, so he can be killed by fire if I'm lazy. That's interesting. <laughs> I think I need Dan for this, right? Yeah, unless Khan can do it, but I don't think Khan's charge shot is powerful enough. I need to unlock Dan. Oops, not Khan. Uh, Coyote. Not powerful enough. What does this do to a normal guy? Wow, it doesn't even kill a normal dude. That's embarrassing. Coyote, that's an embarrassing charge attack. Coyote's very bad. 
<laughs> Coyote is, is arguably the worst character. <laughs> oh, I'm faced the wrong way. Hold on. Here, let's just run. <laughs> oh, I should have gotten closer, I guess. <laughs> Nope. Coyote is not accurate enough to hit that thing. I should switch to Khan. A oh, coyote has a coyotes on his shirt. That's adorable. Hey. So can I shoot time out of my hands now? To solve time puzzle? First off, I should probably be wearing the stamina ring, because it just gives me more health, I think. Which is like... Why wouldn't you wear that? Wow, Mask is OP as hell now. Hold on, I'm gonna go for the counter. Yes! <laughs> hell yeah. Coyote's thing is that he jumps and picks locks. Um, both of which are just so mundane that they're not very interesting. Um, Coyote otherwise has a revolver that is worse than Dan's. It fires- it reloads faster than Dan's, but it's less accurate and does less damage. And it has a charge shot that's worse than Dan's, and doesn't- Dan's charge shot is required for a lot of things. But Coyote's is never required, or even any good. <laughs> He's saying I need the time ring. I think I need to go back and break that shutter. I thought I was going on a side path, but this increasingly looks like the main path. I don't know, maybe this is the side path, after all. Oh, uh, wait, time ring. No, wait, that's not time. Time ring howls. Good thing there's just like a broken dresser in this amusement park. <laughs> wow. Well, okay. So I guess there used to be a. 
I don't know, man. <laughs> so that used to be a full dresser? Like, old-timey dresser? <laughs> oh, wait. Let me try con. Oh, if I miss, he flips back around, huh? Maybe Kite maybe Khan's not very good for him. Fuck you! Eh, he's not bad. I just need to have more trigger discipline. So, like... So, like, the thing was there was a broken fancy dresser that I rewinded. But, <laughs> but why? Though. But why, though? Like, the question I can't have answered is, like, why? Oh, wait, other way, other way, other way, other way. Like, who put the dresser in the middle of an amusement park dead end? And then had it sit there for years. It's just there for the puzzle. I love how little they give a shit. Okay. So in case you didn't get this upcoming puzzle, they just tell to use the wind ring, I guess. But first, the odd engraving. Like, I'm assuming this? What a puzzle. Gosh, what a puzzle. Wait. I'm sorry. What? Why? Why did that make the balloons float down? Dangerous. I'm gonna go back to get that soul shell, but I need to go to a Harmon room and unlock Dan anyway. Here, I'll have to go back to that other corridor, to the string quartet theater area at a point. Okay, so this is the dude that can only be hurt by <laughs> my special charge ability. Nos vemos. Adios. Oh, I see. They only get hurt by my level one charge shot. Wait. Uh, I can only kill those dudes with Dan, too. They really want to force you to unlock Dan. Give me a Harmon room, then, you assholes. <sighs> You're not going to. Oh, there's one right here, right? Up the stair. There we go. I'm gonna quickly hit the bathroom.
She's on break, so I can't save in this run. In this room. Also, I'm back. I don't- you can't possibly be hearing my sink. That doesn't make sense to me. I think you're hearing me shift stuff around as I sit down or something. I, I know you guys are saying you heard it. I don't believe you. I believe you heard something that sounded like a sink. Anyways. Okay, then. Okay, then. What did you say? Oh, destiny. He just says destiny. Where's Dan? Did I go don't past him? Say it again. Yep. I love how he, like, zips into frame. Very good. Oh, me. Jeez, you still are an ugly fella. How's it been, huh? See, can I waken all of them? Oh, I need one more to get Kevin. What? Jeez, you still are an ugly fella. Let me fella. see, who do I want to level? Been, I mean, huh? level up. Head lock on. So he gets head lock on, and Coyote gets foot lock on, which is good. Very good. What did you say? Oh, he's actually more level okay, than everyone else. Do I win? There we go. Here. Oh, geez, you still are. There we go. That's the boring bookkeeping out of the way. I think just doesn't make very much noise. You know, in retrospect, I should have chosen Khan, because <laughs> this is a really long hallway. Kaede's name is in all caps for some Japanese <laughs> pun reason I don't understand. Or remember, at least. But there's a reason her name is in all caps. It's to indicate, like, nothing terribly important, probably. Or maybe it's Killer7, so it's extremely important. Wait. You aren't the dude I thought you were. Oh no, how am I going to get the balloons? Wait, I actually can't hit them from here. <laughs> I'm going to go in this room first, because I think this is the room with that I needed to be Dan to kill something. <laughs> Later. Hell yeah. Fuck you. This is the wrong room, by the way. Right? Wait. Yeah, it is. Fuck you! What? Oh, oh, so I have a gun. And there's balloons. But the solution isn't to sh I mean, of course it wouldn't be to shoot the balloons. That would be stupid. I could probably slip past this guy, but I'm not gonna risk it. Fuck you. Yeah, I know it's gonna be the ring. I thought maybe you could shoot them instead, but you can't. <laughs> but I'm gonna do this first, because it's something I have to do. I'm assuming. Unless this is an optional area, I wouldn't know. Oh, 
Ah, uh, I didn't get the counter. Let's heal up a little bit. So I really don't want Dan to die. I missed the counter again. Here, let's back up just a second. Is it too easy, Dan? Because you've gotten hit several times so far. I missed it again. I'm gonna die now. Does he not have a counter? Or am I just timing it terribly? I got brutalized. Don't make me say it again. I'm a cleaner. I'm sorry for making you say it again, Mr. Gerson. See, Mr. Smith, I guess. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm calling you by your first name. You have a last name. I don't know why I wouldn't just... Oh, it's kind of cute little walk down the stairs animation. Well. It's time for him to see remorse while seeing a body. Maybe we'll finally get our chance to see him... See remorse. Feel remorse. Oh, these guys are a real pain to take out. Son of a bitch. There we go. Because I only get five shots. <laughs> Wrong room. Son of a bitch. Wrong room. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> this is the room. And there's the body. And here's the remorse. He looks a little sad. There's a little bit of a frown there. Look, I'm a queen. I can feel no remorse from seeing a dead body. To me, it's merely cold, rotting flesh. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. What? Why did you? Okay. Why did, Why did you? Okay then. Oh, I should have checked to see if Dan has a counter. Too late. Oh, I also should have had the stamina ring on. Oops. I didn't want to make it too easy. That's... It's not that I forgot. Dangerous. Dangerous. It's really dangerous that I run quickly away from fights. It's not dangerous. It's the opposite of dangerous. It's the least dangerous ability of everybody's. Probably. Well, no, Coyote's is actually the least dangerous. Fuck you! Lockpicking is not a dangerous thing. Here, let's get this now. No, wait. Sorry, what? Okay. 
I don't know how they made physics that janky in a pre-rendered cutscene, but there you have it. <laughs> Wait, this is the wrong one, isn't it? I remember this time. Kevin goes invisible. Kevin is the creepy knife dude. He throws knives, which don't do much damage, but if they hit a critical point, they're really accurate and fast, and you don't need to reload. So they're good at hitting critical points. Um, and he runs pretty fast. And he goes invisible. It's his, like, special ability. Um, which is used to get you th past areas you don't want to fight enemies in, and also gets you through, like, lasers, security systems, and whatever. Yeah, it's Creepy Silent Knife Guy. Pedro. Okay, I'm assuming that Self Defense League was a group of assassins. Oh, so all that was to unlock a Harmon's room. And also talk to Travis. Well. So the hardest thing in this area was to unlock the checkpoint. Fuck you, Killer Seven. Oh wait, hold on. I do want to check to see if... I need to know who does and does not have a counter ability. Because I currently don't really know. And I guess as long as I'm here I can make some thick blood. And wake up Kevin too, actually. Oh, I did wake up Kevin already, didn't I? What did I just give him? Hold on. Counter attack. Down attack, which I've never used for anybody. Charge shot. Enemy slow, though. That's new. How does that work? Just when I hit him, or what? He just- they're just always slow? Oh, so that leveled up his charge shot, I guess. Anyway, so he has a counter. Did you see? He has a counter. Okay, then. He has a counter. I know he does. Don't make me say it again. You don't have any skills. Bad time. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. You have a counter. Or am I? What? You okay? So everybody has a counter. What did you? Let's do a quick save. And get back out there. This level's a bit slow compared to a lot of levels. Maybe because the story is just like. There's not a lot of it? I love Kevin's goofy run, though. Okay, so I'm totally finished with the movie theater area. I think. Whoops. <laughs> 
That is so much easier. Mask is the slowest character, so I won't make him walk down this ridiculous hallway. Oh yeah, Khan's other ability is to see through walls, because he's blind, so he can, like, hear things. It's never come up, though. I don't know if it ever does. It probably will eventually. But, like, he's basically supposed to have a radar. Or something. Khan is basically a bat, that's correct. <laughs> I think only Dan can kill these spawners, because they're like mobile versions of the very large spawners that only Dan can kill. But I'm not totally sure about that. Thankfully, I think they also don't respawn. This is too easy. <laughs> well, I tried. I used a lot of blood on that, actually. And that was the counter, by the way. So now you've seen his. I'm trying to see all of them a little bit. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> Killer Mansion. It is good, fabulous. I guess that was a clue about using a mirror? Should I have gone in that door, actually? I don't know. Hey, let's actually use a smith that can, like, hit weak points and therefore fill up my thin blood, because I really need some thin blood. I have zero. Which is bad. Um, oh, I get it, actually. He said, look right at my face, so I need to pick the ones where the guy's looking right at me in the picture above the door. Right? He said, not the profile. Let me make a... F this is too easy. Make a full circuit just in case, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. <laughs> I don't think I actually hit that shot, but I will. I appreciate you giving it to me anyway. Okay, yeah, and there's the entrance. So. That's the puzzle. This is an actual puzzle. It's not a great one, but it's a real puzzle. I actually... Like, I guess they gave a shit about this one? Ooh, this is awkward. Yeah, okay. Dan's really bad at killing this man. He takes too long to reload. Oh, 
Fuck you. Pecan's really good. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Just make sure there's not so I feel like they'd hide something in these stupid rooms in the wrong direction or something. No, I guess not. If you could only pick one smith to be escorted by. Whew, I just made it! I guess this feat actually helped. How about that? Oop. Kaede seems depressed, but otherwise, like, kind of normal. It might be Kaede. And she's, like, still competent. I don't know what you mean by escort. Am I being escorted through, like, <laughs> dangerous territory? Because, like, Kaede would probably be okay to hang out with. Khan's kind of a dick. Actually, no, it's Mask. Never mind. The correct answer is Mask. The correct answer is Mask. is a fine choice, but the Mask is, is correct. Really? You sure? Like, are you positive that wasn't a critical? It seemed a lot like a critical to me. Mask is also the best to hang out with. Huh, is that a puzzle? Oh. Oh boy. My power of... Jump. I'm pretty sure you could just... Like, I think you could just grab that. Like, that's not... <laughs> that's not that high. <laughs> it always says the eagle has landed at X. Beat rock. The old man is Curtis, as a reminder. The man we're here to kill. Okay, that's weird. Okay. Wait, can I not even go back? I can't. I can only go forward right now. I guess because it's some kind of fun house. Damn, right? Oh. Huh. Okay. He's so serious sitting on the sofa. I love that. I like that a lot, whatever that was. As long as this is here, I might as well clear out my thick blood. Oh, I still haven't hit the oh, limit, huh? A bad time. I hope I like. Or like. No, actually, let me level up, Dan. Bad time. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Or am I? Don't make me think. Okay then. What did you like? Did they make me become? Did they make me become Garcian just to have him sit in the sofa? Was that the whole point? Was to make him sit in the sofa? Was that the whole thing? 
Yeah, uh, Travis gives you all of the, like... Like, the entire political intrigue plot is just Travis talking to you about it. In a really casual manner. Okay, and it dumps me back out here. <laughs> this is too easy. see if I can make Kevin do his counter, because I want to see it. I don't know if I've ever seen it. Yeah, I love the way he sort of holds his fingers out so he can hold the knife in a cooler way. Okay, let's take the counter. Yeah, he thinks he's the coolest dude. I've already seen cons, I saw coyote. I think coyote is the only one I haven't seen then. Let me just give it a shot. Give it a shot, huh? <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, she just kicks them. She just kicks them. That's kind of lame. <laughs> Now I kind of want to see the uh, down attack, and I don't know how to do it. Do I just run up? <laughs> nope. Well, I guess I'll figure out the down attack some other time, because now the man's attacking me. Kevin is definitely an edgelord. Like, he doesn't have to use knives. I didn't even have to kill that man, did I? I'm not going that direction again. I'm going this direction. Hey, actually, here's a question. Okay. My question was, does the charge up use up one of my bullets? It doesn't. Good to know. Oh, hey. I have just enough to kill you. I have exactly enough thin blood. Because his charge shot uses up a shot. <laughs> Digital rock! Wait. Wait, Khan has a mask too. I want to see what happens if I'm not allowed to in. I'm curious. It's experiment time today. Apparently. Yeah, she just says, fuck it. This is my counter. And kick. Okay, but Khan has a mask, right? We can all agree Khan's wearing a mask on his face. But I bet they won't let him in. That's not fair. He's got a mask. That's a type of mask. A bandana around the top of the head is a mask. The rest of the locks are for kids. Huh? What? <laughs> that was really close. That would have killed me. 
What was that purple door? Is that anything? It said for kids. Does that mean... Con? It's probably nothing, but I'm gonna try it. Guess it's not that, whatever it is. Child entrance. What are you doing? What are you doing? Who crouches like that? What the f- It's just a- Okay. Enter the maze of hell. music though. Like, first off, anybody could have fit under that gate. But to be fair, I guess if you can turn into other people, you'd probably be like, hey, short kid, you do this one, right? Like, realistically? I'm gonna not take the correct hallway. I want to see what's over here. <laughs> it probably just loops endlessly, right? Oh, it wow, it really does. It's just an S that loops in on you. Even though you're always moving to the left. That's interesting. How are those rats? Two bits. I wonder what that's supposed to be saying, and if it's supposed to be English. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! I guess whatever puzzle's supposed to be here is already solved. Oh, no? <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait. Oh, they don't show up on this side at all, huh? Fuck you! Okay. Hey, to be fair, this level has actual puzzles. Wait, does it always rotate away from me? It always rotates the way I'm not facing. That's me. But it's also exploit? Wait. No, it just always rotates away from me. Oh boy, okay. How many of these do I need to kill? I thought I saw some of those come back in the same hole after I got them, but I guess I didn't. 
No, wait, wrong way. This way, right? Here we are. They put some real gameplay in this one. Oh, I just already had the Wind Ring equipped, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I might uh, probably get hit by both of these. We'll see. Yep. I guess I need to hit their cockpits while they're swarming at me like that. I was not prepared. Okay, I have no idea what that clue is supposed to be at all, actually. Missed. That stupid flashbang guy. <laughs> okay. Oops, not Kevin. Kade. I know that's it. It's really obviously it. They really want to make sure you get that you're supposed to shoot the targets. I did it! I don't know why they're demonic gorillas, if you're wondering. Like, I can't... Oh, and this is the purple door to the beginning. Probably. So now I have a shortcut back. If I need it. Okay, so the heart doesn't lie. He's very fast. Kade's blood ability is... It actually doesn't cost any blood to use. She just goes up to a, a wall and... Uh, cuts her wrist and blood sprays everywhere, and it summons a spirit. Um, and I forget who the spirit was. I think it's like her sister or her best friend. Or something. And the spirit will reveal secret passages or absorb blood off the walls. Um, this probably isn't the correct thing to do, right? Okay, so can this dude even hurt me? Ah, terrible. Damn, that's a tricky shot. Oops, okay, I guess he can hurt me. <laughs> I guess he can hurt me. Ah, I was just feeling like, okay, it's just one tough shot. But nope. Now I'm feeling remorse upon seeing a dead body. Don't make me say it again. I'm a... 
Womp. This chapter's pretty slow overall. It's about as slow as the first one, although I guess it's got more gameplay going on. Wait, how am I gonna get past the spawners? Are they just not there? <laughs> Or am I just gonna have to take damage? No, well, I can. I can probably. Oop. Oh, I can just run past him, I guess. Huh. Okay. I didn't realize that before. And it, oh, and it drops his head off here, so I don't have to fight the dude that only masks can kill. Look, I'm a cleaner. I can feel no remorse in seeing a dead body. To me, it's merely cold, rotting flesh. Please? Thank you. What did you okay. Don't make me say it again. Oh, hey! I maxed it out. That's a pretty good indicator I'm nearing the end of the level, which makes sense to me, because I'm pretty sure that the center path in this pavilion is going to lead me to the Vinculum Gate. So I just need to get the, uh... Okay! What did you... There you are. This is a bad time. Remorse. I'm pretty sure I just need to get the soul bullet from the um, from the funhouse I was just in that I died in, and then I can go to the boss because I think I'll have three then, and it's usually three. Is it always three? I actually don't remember. I thought it was four once, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Oh, Dan's actually really hurt. Hold on. This is too easy. This is too easy. Here, just a couple of these. This is too easy. <laughs> That hit me? Huh. Thought I was safe. Garcian made it past. What's your problem, Dan? How come you didn't make it past? Go, shortcut. And now I need to fight this man again. But this time, without dying. This is a genuinely hard shot to make. Wait. Didn't I just hit him? Like, right on it? Oh, is he getting scared when I aim? Is that what's happening? You might be right. There we are. Wow, thank you, Shell. That helped a lot, actually. That was very helpful. Shell just beat that boss, everybody.
I don't know who this is. But I got a demon gun, which I think makes Dan better. Let's see. Yeah? Wow, that's a lot of bullets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shots. Eleven. Twelve. And it reloads faster. So now he's just way better than Coyote. Poor Coyote. So now there's no reason to ever be Coyote. And then you have to pick a lock. And I probably will never select him again until I have to. Poor guy. Anyways, on to what I assume is the main... Oh, hello. This is too easy. God, it even reloads faster. <laughs> this is too easy. Probably shouldn't have walked right into that one. Did not expect three of them at once. I... And again, I really genuinely don't remember this game that well. I don't think Coyote gets an upgrade. <laughs> the, you th I know it looks like right now everybody's getting an upgrade at some point. Boy, is this a bad time? I hope I'm not... I don't think everybody does. Or am I? Like, in my memory, I think I remembered Mask getting an upgrade. I think Mask gets more upgrades, I'm not sure. Um, I don't think I remember Dan's upgrade at all. But I don't remember anybody else getting an upgrade. Which doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Like I said, I don't remember Dan's. There's no, literally nowhere else to go. One thing I am pretty sure I remember is that this is never explained. I mean, the implication is definitely that you give this guy soul bullets as payment to go through like an interdimensional gateway, and that's what this is. But the gateway always takes you somewhere in the same area you're already at. And, like, what is this area? I don't think it's ever anything at all. I don't even think it's, like, got symbolism. Like, I think when people analyze the game, they're just, like, don't even talk about this part, because it doesn't mean anything. I could be wrong. Maybe it's deep and meaningful. The suck was actually a real slang when this game came out. Kids did say that. Maybe not exactly when this game came out. Okay, so I think I need to destroy his armor. As with most of these fights, you want to be Kaede. <laughs> I think. I like Katie's outfit in this one. Doesn't it? Oh, so it's just a dude who has armor, so you have to shoot his critical spot, because you can't shoot through his armor. Okay. That's not terribly notable.
gothic metal. He's got a theme today. Okay. So yeah, Dan gets a backstory. He was betrayed by Pedro, his boss, in the self-defense league. Was, was self-defense league? The something self-defense league. I've already forgotten. kid killed by every single boss, by the way, is a good question to have. Anyways, all I got about that was do something with lights. Sorry, it just cuts off? What? What? What's happening? Who is the- I don't- I don't know what's happening. I don't know who this is. Okay, so shoot her when she's under the lamps is the key. You can only kill anime under the blinding light of scrutiny. I like it. It's true also. Oops, wrong way. Shoot. I'm gonna get hit now. Uh. I don't know if I can dodge that ability or not. I think Katie might die if she takes another hit, so I'm switching in case I'm about to take a hit. Oh, that almost worked. It didn't really almost work. It was nowhere close to working. She does. She runs in a circle around the, the parking lot. Oh, I got her.
I want to get her as head on as possible to make it easier to hit her. Jesus, she's fast. She's so fast she missed. Where'd she go? Oh, the, oh she's over there. There we go, that's the way to do it. Look, I'm sure they'll explain it, it'll make tons of sense. Oh, this is probably the way to do it, huh? Oh, not quite. Jesus, she's fast. Yeah, this was the correct answer all along. Okay. <laughs> okay. Excuse me? Wait, so is that Curtis? Wait, is that Curtis in an outfit? to play doubles go find someone else oh it's pedro the guy who i look like a guy who wants to play doubles oh it's, uh, it's these two uh, so this is pedro uh, i guess okay so i guess he's killing pedro pedro is the one who turned on dan and got that guy to kill dan i forget that guy's name but i guess there's still a plot I'm gonna cut the stream whenever I get to a save point, I guess, because we're done with part one. Oh, this is probably it right here. Okay, like... <sighs> ah, home sweet home. Yeah. Gonna assume this still isn't anything. Yeah, it's, I don't know why I check every time. It's not gonna be anything. Okay. Well, I was a bit of a slow... This probably had the most actual gameplay. Like, interesting gameplay moments of any of the things. They kept mixing it up and encouraging different characters. Um, and then that ending happened. And that's Encounter Part 1. And... Now it's over. I guess that's where that part of the story ends. As stories do. They often end... Like, often, when you're building up a story, and, like, you're building to some sort of climax of killing a guy, um, you have the character go, and there's just something completely fucking unrelated, 
and they kind of deal with it, and then it just drives off in a bus. Right? Like, that's how stories work, I think. Killer 7. Is that how they work, Killer 7? Is that how stories do? I'm saving again, so I can... I don't know. Wait for an answer that's not coming. Thanks for watching, everybody. Encounter part one. Next time we'll do part two. I guess. Bye. <laughs> like, I don't know what to say. <laughs>